Lisa Voz, Halloween, siamo qua con Radio Slave. Hello. Good Isn't... evening. <laughs> so, <laughs> buonasera. <laughs> so, how would you introduce yourself to someone that doesn't know you? Who is Radio Slave? Uh, my name is uh, Matt Edwards. I produce and record as Radio Slave and also DJ under that name. And I uh, run uh, a co run or co own a record label called Records, which is based in London. And yeah, that's me. Okay, how do you choose the name Radio Slave? Um, it came from um, doing uh, edits of, or remixes of pop records. So starting with uh, the Kylie Minogue, Can't Get You Out of My Head. And because it was kind of, and we had to come up with a name for this, for this uh, production team. And so it was a uh, slave to radio. Okay. That's this kind of, that was the... So I know you do a lot of remixes. So what do you prefer? Do you prefer the production part? Do you prefer the remix? What uh, is your... Uh, these days I, I prefer, much prefer to do my own productions. I used to, I mean, it's, it depends. I used to work on a lot of songs and a lot of pop records. So you get to work with great vocals and great music and great parts. And, and uh, that kind of thing is really uh, is inspiring. And it also teaches you a lot about how records are made because you get sent the parts. So you get sent every track from the drums to the bass to the everything, you know. So yeah. a lot of, like, depend, especially with um, pop, pop artists, a lot of the vocals are all multi-tracked. So you get to hear all these different vocals. It's great. So if you have to choose your favorite one, your favorite remix, uh, maybe the pop one. I'm not sure, yeah. I mean, I really enjoyed doing things. Yeah, there's, there's been so many. Um, there's a couple of the, the bands that I've worked with, and yeah, there's just too many to really pick one. The first that comes to your mind, just like this. Um, I guess, well, I did a re edit of Paul McCartney, but it's more okay. of a, a re edit. But that was really good fun, those kind of things. Okay, and so how do you work in the studio? How do I work? Mm -hmm. uh, do you just lock yourself? Do you wait for inspiration? How do you work? I, I have so little time. I travel so much with DJing that I kind of, um, I kind of relish why I have to um, make make the studio time work for me. Yeah, it's really difficult. So you yeah, have to find time. But yeah, usually a few hours here, a few hours there, doing cooking <laughs> in between. And, <laughs> when you have this question, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry, uh, I know you have also a um, side project and also alias. Uh, the one that really um, caught my attention was DJ Maxi. Okay. Okay, and it's kind of Italo disco, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is, um, I did two, well, I did two DJ mixes in 2005 as DJ Maxi. And then um, the Maxi name was used for the early Quiet Village releases I did with, well, I do with Joel Martin. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's called Zeus, so I'm called Maxi. And uh, but the, yeah, last year we released the two uh, two DJ mixes. Yeah, so but I, lo I love Italo disco and the cosmic sound and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, so also you know you're in Italy, Baldelli yeah, and things yeah, like yeah, that. So yeah. you you I like it? Yeah, yeah. And okay. I mean, I, I've since I guess from being involved in kind of disco scene in, in London in the, in the early 90s we, were, we got to hear a lot of these records but they were really hard to find and of course nowadays with, with YouTube people can uh, find out about Italian disco instantly but back then yeah it's kind it of easier kind of today exotic for us and really like wow you know this kind of slow-mo um, almost house but pr proto house pre house yeah it was like yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a lot of that are still really hard to find also if you have YouTube, you know, a lot of titles yeah. really. Yeah, but I mean, these days people don't have to actually have to own the records. You know, back then when I did those mixes, you'd have to spend a lot of money and a lot of time. Just great to digging. To find them, yeah, it was hard. And also Cabin Fever is also another project from you. Uh, from um, I can't really talk about that. But yeah, it's just done by some, some, someone we know. Ah, okay. <laughs> this is supposed to be secret. <laughs> Yeah, so kind of okay, we're not talking about. <laughs> okay, I'm not talking <laughs> about it. <laughs> so, how mm, was the night? Do you like the place? The place is amazing. Yeah, the crowd's really great, and it's it's huge. I was really surprised. I wasn't. I guess I should have done my homework, but I didn't really know it was going to be such a big party for for this area. I, I, you know, it's it's amazing to see so many, 
so many people here. Oh. And so what do you prefer? Yeah, do you prefer big crowds or a more intimate party just? I like both. It depends on the, the crowd and the, and, the, and the sound and the whole atmosphere in the club. There's so many great clubs in Italy and from, from really small ones like Moxa to, you know, really large places like Cocorico. It's yeah. like a, it's such a yeah, broad spectrum. The, yeah. And of course, Italy uh, has such a great heritage of, of dance music. Like you said, Bordelli and, sorry, Bordelli and uh, yeah, people like Mozart and to, to now, you know, so it's... Yeah, do you try to shape your set? Do you just go and do your thing? Uh, no, I mean, I, tonight I played um, I, I played Grindhouse, which I hadn't, I hadn't played for ages, but there are people in the crowd, like, you know, shouting it. And so, you know, if people really want to hear a record I've done, then I will play it. And especially with such a big uh, audience, you know. Just go. It's, it's different to playing, yeah, of course, in, in, in a smaller club where you can play okay yeah weirder, just, weirder stuff. yeah i just have one last question for you uh -huh. then i'm letting you go um how is london scene in, also in english nowadays you know there is a lot of fuss about bass music what uh, mm. I, I, well, I've never, for the last five years i've been in berlin so <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> but i mean yeah there is london's london's always built around musical fads so whatever's trendy whatever's new people Get really sucked into but i mean i live in berlin and we do our, we do our passes at panorama bar and, and I mean, i'm extremely lucky and privileged that you know in this club people really respect and love great music so you know anything from italo disco to chicago house detroit house so it's not built around fads and i'm kind of glad to be away from that kind of london scene you know okay yeah Okay, so thank you for, thank you <laughs> for talking with us. Thank you. Bye.